Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Today I go over what to expect with AMD's 5th gen Ryzen processors, the first ever unhackable chip, and sad news for A320 motherboard owners. But first, don't forget about the Gamer Meld Rewards program, where every 3 months, $5 patrons who have been paying for at least 3 months are sent out a small gift. Unfortunately, the deadline for the Athlon 64X2 was May 1st, but the next gift will also be a CPU, so consider joining at patreon.com slash gamermeld or follow the link in the description below. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, with all of TSMC's current and upcoming nodes announced, I figured I wanted to discuss what we can expect from 5th Gen Ryzen. And 5th Gen, I get it, that's a little ways away, but hear me out. We know AMD's third gen Ryzen CPUs are based on their second generation Zen architecture. It's confusing, I know. Well, Zen 2 is made from TSMC's 7 nanometer process, which is achieved by using deep ultraviolet lithography. We also know that Zen 3 for fourth gen Ryzen is based on 7 nanometer plus, which likely refers to TSMC's 7 nanometer plus made from their extreme ultraviolet lithography process, well, four layers of it, that is, to gain a 20% density increase over their current 7 nanometer tech. But that's just 4th gen, and we don't definitively know what 5th gen is bringing, but we do know that engineers are already hard at work on Zen 5 or 6th gen Ryzen, so it must be tech that's currently out or about to be released. The likely candidates are TSMC's 5 or 6 nanometer process. Well, the 6 nanometer process actually isn't that great in that it only gives an 18% density increase over their 7 nanometer DUV process, but that's because it's more designed to make transitioning from 7 nanometer DUV easier. So which AMD may end up using that instead of 7 nanometer plus for their 4th gen Ryzen chips, but I'd be surprised since they already announced it on 7 nanometers plus. So for 5th gen, the most obvious candidate is 5 nanometers, which I've gone over before, but for those who haven't heard, 5 nanometers gives an 80% increase in logic density and a 15% performance increase when compared to what's on their 3rd gen Ryzen 7 nanometer process. Now, these numbers come from a 5 nanometer ARM chip, but I doubt Ryzen will be too, too different. Basically, AMD is in a great place right now when it comes to their CPUs. Intel still hasn't brought their 10 nanometer tech to desktop, and for all we know, AMD will be on 5 nanometers while Intel is pulling out their 14 nanometer plus 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 plus. Next up for today is a supposedly unhackable processor. The chip was announced by the University of Michigan, and it's called Morpheus, which I'm not sure is just a name or a hint at our eventual future of the machines taking over because we can't hack them. What are they thinking? 2.0 will likely be called Skynet. Anyway, the processor gets its unhackable status by, quote, encrypting and randomly reshuffling key bits of its own code and data 20 times per second. The university's professor of computer science expanded on this and said, quote, imagine trying to solve a Rubik's Cube that rearranges itself every time you blink. That's what hackers are up against with Morpheus. It makes the computer an unsolvable puzzle. Now, that isn't a challenge, by the way. I see you licking your lips over there. One key factor is that the process only has a 1% impact on performance, so it's definitely a great trade-off. They're hoping to see Morpheus eventually end up in everything from PCs to tablets and all in between. Lastly for today, it looks like the recent rumor that told us AMD's A320 chipset won't support 3rd gen Ryzen could be true. In a series of BIOS updates to 300 and 400 series motherboards, ASRock added support for their next-gen Ryzen, but they did something odd when it came to the A320 boards. In those A320 motherboard BIOS updates, it specifically says next-gen Ryzen series APUs only. Now, that's important because AMD's next-gen APUs are believed to be 12 nanometers, or what's in second-gen Ryzen instead of the 7 nanometers in third-gen Ryzen, making it seem pretty clear that the A320 chipset flat out will not support third-gen Ryzen. One of those times I really wished a rumor was wrong. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for unhackable processors, or are you just stoked for fifth-gen Ryzen? Let me know down in the comments below, and if you liked the video, definitely make sure to subscribe, and as always, have a great day.